guys, today we will be making brownies. These brownies have pre-made batter. So just read the directions on the top. But I'm gonna give you some tips to make the perfect brownies. Okay? So this is the Betty Crocker milk chocolate brownie mix. We love this these mixes. I have made um pound cake cake, just normal cake, vanilla cake, chocolate cake, and now we're just making brownies. I recommend this if you're going to make anything. If you don't have it, use just normal ones. Today we're going to do that. So for this recipe, I'm doubling the recipe, we're going to use three tablespoons of water. It's the tablespoons are in here. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Okay. Um, and two eggs. Tip one, when you're getting eggs and you're prepping, if you get the eggs first, don't put them on the table like like this because they'll start to roll, as you can see. Put them on top of a cloth so that they don't roll. This, as you guys, is so that it don't, doesn't roll. And also tip number two, if you don't have eggs, one fourth of a cup of um, eggs or three tablespoons equals one egg. So if you want eggs with egg whites, there it is. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get a plate, preferably a big one. Let me take off my mic so I can reach down here. See you in two minutes. <gasps> Oh my god, it's so weird down here. Oh, it's weird. I'm over here in another dimension, and you guys can't hear me. Well, here's the bowl, and here I come in three, two, one. I'm back from the death. Okay, let's put it back on. Because, yeah. So, yeah. Let's put it back on. First thing you want to do. Don't add dry with dry. Dry with dry or actually add dry with dry but not liquid with dry. If you put that in, then you put the eggs first and then the olive oil, it'll mix and you won't have good brownies. Tip number three, if you're putting vegetable oil or whatever oil, put the vegetable oil first, then the water and then the eggs. I'll explain why later. So we are going to open this thing with a knife, okay? I am a trained kid professional. So don't try this at home, kids. Well, I am a kid, but like, trained. So yeah, as you can see, this will come out like this. It's the bag full of chocolate. Started chocolate with flour. Also, if you guys want uh, from scratch brownie mix, let me down down below in the comments. So already I know that people won't comment below because my channel sucks. And yeah. So preferably don't leave don't leave the like this. Don't leave it like this because in flat like the mix will get stuck in this part. So cut out the entire thing. If I'm doing ASMR sometimes, I'm sorry. I don't have a very good mic. I bought this on Amazon for $2. Not a $100 mic. So yeah, we're going to pour this in. Let me get the camera right here. And yes, this is a professional camera. Okay. So we're going to pour this in. If there's chunks, just wiggle it around. Honestly. Okay. Oh, this would be way easier if I had a camera, man. Okay. So, yeah. We put all of it in. So, yeah. That is this. Now you can yeet this away. Yeet. Then, like I said earlier, add the most first. Another, another tip. Tip number three. With a spoon, when you're going to make your stuff, Make it like volcano type shape thingy. So when you see right here, 
even it out first and then make like a volcano in the middle okay so this is the volcano we are making as you can see it's a volcano okay so now we I'm gonna put the camera over right here and now when you put this in put it inside of the volcano not outside because when you put it inside it mixes very well okay then you put the water the water helps it coagulate and stuff and there you go the volcano if the volcano overfills it's not that bad nothing will happen it's just batter tip number five I think when you're doing stuff make sure you have the exact measurements for example my mom likes to story time my mom likes to not follow the recipe if it says in my grandmother's too if it says two tablespoons of water and the batter turns out to be dry and bad you're gonna say add another fourth a cup of water don't do that I'm sorry I need to wash my hands because of the egg that just happened so yeah I'm gonna raise you guys up so right here I'm gonna raise you guys up and put you in a certain position so that you guys can see me later um I don't know well, I think I'm yeah I'm just gonna put you normally like I was so yeah I'm gonna put you normally like before so now it is very important to get the mixing tools Right now we're going to let it set for about a minute. Like, uh, yeah. So, let's wait. Okay. It's been a minute. Even if you didn't notice, when I poured everything up, it's been 30 seconds. And then when I stopped talking, it's been 10 seconds. And then when I wash my hands, 40 seconds. So that's equals a minute. I'm sorry if I did math wrong. It's just, yeah. So, I'm going to take you guys on a little trip here. We are going to get a mixing tool. tool. Sorry. Bad English. So, the best mixing tool. You're going to guess it. If you already saw it, not my fault. But, if you don't know what this is, you may be living in space. Hi, aliens. Um... Yeah, a whisk. So you're gonna whisk intensely for about thirty seconds, or until there's no more like clumps. I would say. So let's start furiously mixing. Okay, first mix slowly so that you can get all the ingredients together, and mash the yolk and everything, and then mix furiously for multiple minutes. Oh my god, it smells good. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop misking firstly. We just need a misk until there's no more clumps. And if your batter turns out to be like dough, doesn't matter. Maybe you've seen cake batter, which makes it like go up, like rise. But brownies, when have you seen a brownie rice? Only when you add baking soda to it. What's a baking powder? I don't know. But when you want, even in the box, it says cake-like recipe. You add baking soda. But right now, we're just making normal brownies. So, when you're done, scratch the bottom so that you can find, like, this spot right here. That, that is the, the powder that's been under, like if I lift it up, there's a bunch of mixture powder looking things down 
under. Oh, it was four tablespoons of water. Let me just go get one more. How did I mess up? Oh my god. I'm so new at this. I'm gonna fail my job and I'm gonna die of thirst. Uh, that's nothing related to it. But, just go with it. Um, and, new it. Okay, I'm back. That was four. And now, we need to keep missing. Mix, 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 mix. Pick up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Now, in the box, it says to get a pan. Right. But we're not going to get it right now because my batter still has clumps. I like to do this thing to taste it if I'm doing the right batter. Then you wash your hands immediately. Okay, but because you don't want anyone tasting your saliva. So yeah, you keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring until there's no more clumps. On mine, there's no more clumps. Let me check. To check, you raise it up and look down for clumps. Raise it up, look down for clumps. Raise it up, look down for clumps. No more clumps. Right now, we're going to make a quick cut and I'm going to get a pan. We're back. Right now, we. So, the oven is preheating at. Oh, darn it. I forgot to put this on. I don't know why I have my headphone on. Put it back here. So the oven is preheating at 350 um, degrees right now. So then we can put this in. Another tip. Remember to take out all the stuff that you have stored in the oven. Or else it's going to burn and you're going to burn your house in. Okay. So first. The pan. I'm going to do an 8 times 11 inch. Which will take about 24 to 39 minutes to cook on 350 degrees. First, we're going to grease it. So you take the residue from your um, olive oil. Let me just get the other one right there. You take a residue, you grab a napkin, you put it in there. Then you grease the bottom of your pan. Make sure to all around your pan or else it's going to stick. And with brownies, you don't want it to stick because then it'll be a bad presentation. Let's keep mixing a little bit more so that we can mix in the olive oil that I added. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put this in the dishwasher. Okay, now the, we're going to pour this in. There's also this thing called the, and here in my house, we call it the miserable. In Spanish, it means the miserable. Because it doesn't leave anything behind on the bowl. I'm going to go get it right now. It's right over here, so you're gonna have to, you guys are going to follow my voice. It's kind of weird. I'm over here again, and you guys can still hear me. Now you can put my mic back on because my mic doesn't reach so long. So yeah, this is the miserable. You might recognize it as a red spatula. It's plastic and it's known for not leaving anything behind. So we're going to pour the major volume of this into the pan. Spread it out throughout the pan. Like that. And then we're gonna grab the miserable. Wait. Ah. And then pull everything down. Like this. You grab it and you pull it down. Grab it and you pull it down. Ah. 
So yeah. I'm sorry if I'm grunting. It just oh, it's heavy. Okay, you guys don't know. You guys don't understand how heavy it is. I'm gonna say, hey, Adrian, the the bowl is not heavy. It's just brownie mixing bowl. But this bowl is made out of ceramic, and it's specially made to go in the oven and bake at max 600 degrees. So yeah, they made it pretty thick. And to make it pretty thick, it must have been really heavy. So as you can see with the miserable, we filled up the entire pan. We're going to put this up to the side, right here. I'm going to wash my hands. That is obvious. So you guys can still hear me. And the water. So yeah, it's just a quick wash. To set it, go like this. Shake it. So it's evenly spread. You see that? That's how even it is. Then, what you want to do is wait until that beep. Yeah. Now so you guys are going to follow me over there. So, I'm going to set up the camera. We're right now in right the oven. We are going to put... I'm sorry, you guys can hear me. I disconnected my mic because I need to be really careful. So right now it's really hot. And we are going to put this in here. I suggest the first top row right in the middle. Okay? Don't touch the top. In our top, there is bars that get hot, which makes it go hot. So we're going to turn it off. We're going to bake 350. And we're going to start. And we're going to do timer for, I'm going to put 30 minutes in the middle of 25 and 30. Well, 25 and 35. So, start. And now, we're gonna wait until the 30 minutes passes. Um, I won't make you wait this long. Uh, so, I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna come back when it's ready. Thanks. Oh yeah, the brownies came out. Mm -hmm. So, when they come out, put them on the table or whatever put something on top of it and then let them sit for about an hour so I'm gonna show you they've been resting for about an hour and yeah this is the final look really cool so there you guys have it um brownie mix recipe in less than an hour well the waiting after is until an hour but less than an hour um so yeah that who you see back there that's my little brother uh, you're making i made brownies mm. and it's all on camera because i'm a vlogger and i made brownies so yeah um not for cinematics